Hello all and welcome back to Save the Environment 911. Um, if you are new to this channel, we say Save the Environment 911 because typically, at least in America, when there's an emergency, you call 911. And saving the environment is an emergency. That's how deep we're in. So, um, I know this is our second upload for this podcast, this YouTube channel, and um, obviously we are not sponsored, but we will be talking about products that I think are really good and could really make a change. That's how we're going to start off the video, and then we're going to get to the real chunk of it. So, the first part is that there is this great website that I use um, called Zero Waste Cartel. They have a bunch of great stuff, um, and... Actually, their founder is from Australia, and they did a GoFundMe to help with the wildfire, the, the bushfires in Australia. And I donated as much as I could. You know, I'm a college student, I have a lot of money, but I donated as much as I could. And I, you know, I posted on my Instagram story, you know, a link to their you know, go find me. And they messaged, they did a, like a DM and they were like, we love you, Shelby. Thank you. And I was like, thank you. Like you're saving the environment. And I admire that wholeheartedly. And, um, all these, uh, products that I talk about today, um, you should be able to find on our website when the website finally goes up. Um, there will be a tab about all different products that I've tried, and I um, would encourage you to use to, you know, shrink your carbon footprint. Um, so the next product, it is called um, Succulent Studios. Um, so I love plants. Let's get that out of the way. I think having more plants is just, it makes you happier. Your room seems more alive. And you know, you're getting more oxygen in the room. You're helping that plant survive because you're breathing and talking to it. I talk to my plants. It actually, for some reason, helps them grow. Um, but I got two new plants from uh, Succulent Studios. They are a really great pr um, subscription. You get two plants a month for $10. Um, for me, shipping is $6, but for your first month, you get $5 off, so shipping's basically free. Um, but, I mean, it's great. And if you have a problem with shipping, like your, your plants come in and they're kind of messed up, like you can email them about it and they're really, really nice about it. Um, but the first plant that I got is called Blue Chopsticks. Um, and he's a little, he's, he's cute. Another one's called Blue Burrito. And they're really cute and they're really understanding if they're, in their packaging, it says, if any of our plants don't look right from shipping, please contact us. And they're very understanding about it. Um, so I think plants is a really big thing. Also, I'm testing out this um, new... I guess it's a notepad. My boyfriend gave it to me, and I hadn't used it yet, but I think, you know, with trying to be more eco-friendly, I should try it. It, the company is called, um, Poo Poo Paper TM. Um, recycled and odorless paper products made from elephant poop. Um, and you can just go to their website at www.poopoopaper.com. Calm. And I haven't written in it yet. I think I'm going to start taking all my notes for this podcast on their pro on their products and see how it works out. If I end up hating this product, I will let you know. That'll also be on the website. But they do have more than just uh, these notepads. They actually have notebooks, which is awesome in my opinion. Um, and also just an easy thing that you can do as a college student is, you know, finish book notebooks that you start writing in. I have so many notebooks that I have not finished writing. I started it for a class, I started journaling, and it didn't work out because I'm not good at journaling and I always quit. And then I have like, you know, three-fourths of a notebook that's just sitting around empty. So, um, something that I do is I take an old notebook and 
on the front if it's like a plastic cover, which I don't really like that anyways, but on the cover I'll write, you know, the first section is this class, the second section is this class, and then I'll go to where that last class ended, and then I fold it, the last unused paper or page, into a triangle to make a little divider so that I can go on to my next class and it not be in the way. And I can know where it is because there's that divider. That's just a way to reduce your carbon footprint instead of buying more and more notebooks that we just don't use. Using them up will help a lot. And that's why um, once I'm done writing in this journal that I, I think I wrote in three times beforehand, I'm going to start using the poo-poo paper and see how that works out. Because how can I sit here and tell you to, um, you know, use lessen your carbon footprint when I don't even use all my products, you know, when I don't use up everything that I have. I think using up what we already have and reusing things is a great idea. Also, um, you know, you know those bags you can buy at Ingles that are like reusable, just having those with you, keeping some in the car, that's really helpful. And actually, because I did that for the first time the other day, I went to Walmart and I used those bags. I can fit so much more in those bags that I could using plastic bags. Like I can fit in one reusable bag what would fit in two double, like double bagged plastic bags. Also plastic bags are not recyclable. Whoa, shocking. Um, but that's not what we're talking about today. If you are interested in that, I would highly, highly recommend um, watching this thing called Broken on Netflix, and it's about recycling and how it's kind of a sham. Um, and that's why it's good to reuse, renew what we already use, because recycling doesn't work. It's kind of sad. Um, but anyways, that's not what we're here for today. That was a very long introduction. Um, about things that you can find on the website, and you may be thinking, what do I know about anything? Um, you're just a college student, you don't have any experience. While that's true, um, and this will all, there will be a whole section about this on the website as soon as it gets up um, about how I am a chemist. I'm about to graduate from undergraduate school a year early with a bachelor's in chemistry, and then I'm going to go get a PhD in chemistry and plastics are my passion so I know a lot about plastics plastics there is a toxin in plastics actually linked to cancer fun fact um, so I'm very passionate about that that's actually where I'm really interested in going into because a trend that I have noticed is that with the more use of single-use plastics that we have there is an increase in cancer. But we're going to get into that today. We're going to get into that today, actually. So, what we're going to talk about is cups. You may be thinking, why the heck do I care about cups? You know, everyone says, use a reusable cup. Everyone's like, save the turtles. Don't use a plastic straw. Use a reusable straw. Okay. But you're also using paper cups. You're using, you know, these plastic cups. And you may not... Hold on a second. Hello, I was not prepared. I didn't have my cups ready. So. We're going to talk about this from a scientific chemist standpoint. And then we're going to talk about this from an economic standpoint. So. I'm going to shock you. Blow your mind. It is actually better for the environment for you to use a styrofoam cup than a paper cup like this. You may be thinking, what? Styrofoam's bad. Styrofoam is so bad for you. Actually, it's not. You shouldn't eat styrofoam. No, you shouldn't, you know, heat up your food in a styrofoam container, but like using it to hold drinks, that's not bad. 
It is better for the environment to recycle styrofoam than it is to recycle paper cups. You know why? Styrofoam cups are one molecule, one single thing. It is pure, it is by itself entirely. So for you to recycle it, you can just change it and make it styrofoam again. Different shapes of styrofoam. You don't have to separate anything because it is, because it is uniform throughout. Paper cups are worse for the environment because, think about it, if you take notebook paper and you put it in a tub of water, what happens to it? It dissolves. The, if that's the case, why is it that you can put liquid, you can put water into these paper cups? They're coated in plastic. Even right here on the back of this cup, it says the Pepsi promise to be a good citizen of the world, protecting the Earth's natural resources through innovation and more effective use of land, energy, and water and packaging. Wow, our cups are commercially compostable and made with fully renewable resources. But there's a star next to it. Commercial com Composting facilities may not exist in your area. Visit earth911.com for disposable locations. So, this cup says that it's better for the environment, but it's actually not. Because there not, it may even be spots in your local area to get rid of this cup properly. Because this cup, like I said, is coated in plastic. You'd be thinking, no it's not. It's wax. People tell you that it's wax. Big companies tell you that it's wax coating the cups. So then you think, oh, styrofoam is bad. Cups, plastic cups, paper cups, paper cups are better. No, they're not. They're just cheaper for manufacturers to make. That's it. Bottom line. The cup is paper coated in a plastic cover coating. That takes more energy and more resources for chemists to take apart in order to recycle. That's why even on the side of this cup it says that commercial composting facilities may not exist in your area. It's not a popular thing. It's not easy to break down this cup. So that is the tea on that. So. Styrofoam cups. This is on Walmart's website. Um, eight ounces of a thousand cups of styrofoam cups is forty dollars. Okay. Um, you can get fifty-one cups at six point four ounces for seven dollars and eighty-three cents. Paper cups. You can get twelve ounces, twenty-two count for three ninety-seven. Hmm. You can also get Plastic cups, 18 ounces, 50 count for 4.97. Mm. Plastic cups and paper cups seem like the cheapest option with, you know, quantity, ounce amount to money, to money ratio. You are getting more ounces with paper and plastic cups. But the thing is, is that you can get a reusable cup at Walmart. 30 ounces for $8.74. That is the same amount as 6.4 ounces for 51 cups of styrofoam cups, which is better for the environment, but you know what's better than that? Just reusing a cup and I know it can be hard because you don't always have a cup with you you know that, that can make it difficult but if you have a cup that's like this is my car cup I have a cup that's designated for my car you know like this 
when I go to my car, I'm taking this cup with me. This is my this is my car cup. That's just where it lives. This is my out and about cup. You know, I have glass bottles that I use to hold water in because I don't want to buy plastic water bottles because they are so bad for you. Like, that's a whole other tangent, which we will get to in a minute. Um, but plastic bottles, just a whole, like you go to a water fountain, fill it up, then you don't have to pay for the water because you're just filling it up, you know, and once I use this reusable cup 51 times, it has paid for itself compared to the styrofoam cups and I can still use it again and more than that. You know, this is just better. And I know with parties and everything, people don't, they will throw at a party. They don't really want to, you know, do a bunch of dishes. They'd rather use plastic cups. But the thing is, is that in the end, you are spending more money on those plastic cups than to just wash the dish dishes. Laziness, convenience, is taking over your money, your wallet. So not only is this a better choice, this reusable cup, a better choice for the environment, it's also a better choice for your wallet. Because these cups, paper cups, are one use. You know? And the price will keep coming. And, you know, they'll get more expensive. I remember I have um, lots of cups at my house that now probably cost $20. But when I was a kid, it was like way less than that. I think about like $5 or something. We can still use them. These paper plastic cups, you won't use again because you're going to throw them away. It's just smarter. For your money and it's smarter for the environment um, but back to plastic water bottles you know the really thin plastic ones that you can like crumple up you know even when the water's in there those are so bad for you because think about it like I said earlier there is a chemical in plastic well everything in plastic is toxic like I said, watch the broken documentary on Netflix about recycling. And it'll also elaborate on this. There is a chemical, I'm pretty sure it's called B, not BTS, because that's a band, or maybe it's BST, something like that. It has been linked to cancer. So I want you to think about when you have like a metal water bottle and you leave water in there, in that water bottle for a long time it's out and it's hot and things like that and then you go to drink from that water bottle and the water tastes kind of metally think about that for a second plastic water bottles are easier to break than metal easier to rip how much plastic is ending up in the water that you were drinking from those plastic water bottles, especially the flimsy ones. Water is a universal solvent. It dissolves everything. That's why water can be, start tasting metally from being in a cup. Metal bonds, this, I'm getting a little bit into chemistry with this, but compounds, and metal bonds are very, very strong. Super strong. That's why it takes a lot for... I'm trying some ASMR over here. There we go. It takes a lot for these things to dent. Plastic does not take a lot to dent, to mold. So, especially those very flimsy water bottles. They are easy to break. So... Is so much easier for plastic molecules to break down and be a part of the water you are drinking and you digest it and then it's stuck in your system and eventually down the road that could lead to cancer and I'm sorry that's such a heartbreaking thing to say but that's why this is such an important topic 
plastic is killing us. It really is. So, take home message for today is to start carrying around a reusable water bottle. If you don't have a metal water bottle, a glass water bottle, get at least get a very thick, dense plastic water bottle. So then it takes a lot more for the water to break down the plastic. So you are let you will drink less plastic compared to one and done throw away plastic bottles. Um, also, maybe the next time you think about buying cups for a party, you can think about well, why don't I just use cups I already have and then wash them? You know? It would just, it's better for your wallet and it's better for your own health. And I say this because I care and not because I'm shaming anybody. I know some people it's really hard because money is not a luxury that a lot of people have, you know, but this is a health crisis at this point and we need to help ourselves, we need to help other people as well. Also, please try at least once to use reusable bags just because plastic bags are not recyclable. They aren't. They get stuck in the recycling machines when people are sorting and it just makes everything worse and I don't really know what to do about it um on this channel this podcast we will try and use these plastic bags to make some sort of craft I already have an idea I've tested some it didn't really work out very well um but when I come up with a good solid DIY project you can use to get rid of all these extra plastic bags you have Um, then we will definitely do that on this channel. And I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you next Sunday.